got a Lenovo uh, Yoga 500 here. The part number is Yoga 500-14ISK. Okay. The problem is the power on no display. Now, there's a dedicated graphic card. And then obviously Intel chip has its own graphic card. A graphic built into it, I should say. So, a lot of the time people can't power on no display. They'll start reflowing the chip. No, no, okay. So, all the power power rails are present. So, for example, your supply for your 90 to 20 volt supply, um, your 5 volt, 3.3 volt is present, your G, G graphic uh, voltage is present, your CPU core is present, your RAM supply is present, your PCH supply or the, the IO supply 3.3 is also present. So, you got 19 volt present at the LCD connector as well. Why no display? What's going on here? And there's, there was absolutely no short to ground on any of the uh, lines, basically. Um, and the best way to measure is to sort of uh, probe around these port coil coils to sort of see what voltages you're getting, basically, if you don't have an access to a schematic. Now, I don't think there is a schematic for this particular model. Okay. So, anyway, getting back to the problem, how did I resolve the problem? Okay, it was a bad BIOS, a bad ME region, a corrupted BIOS basically. I've tried the ME region cleaning tool, that didn't work because it does not detect the BIOS basically. So for example, let me show you something, alright. Okay, so what I'm going to do is, here, here, all the software is in the face of the planet. Okay, here we go. Uh, programmer, ME region cleaner, watch what happens when I try to open the BIOS. Uh, where is the backup bias I made? There we go, Lenovo, that's the one. Yep, watch what happens. It recognizes nothing, absolutely nothing. Okay, so screw that. Just go down on, on the internet, have a look through, and you will find a fresh BIOS. Now, there are, there are certain websites like BadCap, for example, here. That's actually sort of uh, giving me a link to download the BIOS. Thank you very much. It's this one. Okay. Really appreciate that. Downloaded that. Flash flash the new EPP ROM. Uh actually, yeah, ROM ROM IC which is here. The old one is there. That's the old one. That's the new one. And the part number for the old one. If you're wondering what it is, it's a wind bond to um 25Q128 FV. SQ. That's the part number for the uh, IC. Let me see if I can. There we go. All right. So that's the part number. Um, I flashed the device and guess what? Put the bias back in. Soldered it back onto the board. Put the jack in. Power it up. It did take a few seconds of it tinkering. Backlight comes on and the display is on. All right, so that's how you sort of resolve the problem. It is don't reflow and reball the chip because that's not going to solve any of the issue. Let me power on the device. Fan spin. With the LED status light is here, and I should get a display here. There we go. All right, so that's how I have actually resolved this issue. So if you do come across with with power on, all the power rails are present. There's no short to ground anywhere. Uh, obviously and and all the power rails are presence that's that's the formation I should be saying you know don't start reflowing the chip try and reprogram the uh, bios basically now the programmer I'm using here at the moment I bought it off Amazon is this this is the latest one uh, which supports the uh, I think it's the 1.8 volt IC as well um, so I've got this, I've got the old one as well as this one basically, uh, or 3 volt, whatever it is, I can't remember, I think it's 1.8 um, and the older ones are 3 volt basically. So, but this IC, when you look at the data sheet, I have to check the data sheet to make sure that um, it's compatible with this, but considering that this is compatible with all the IC, I, I was just out of interest what, it, what the voltage was and this was a 3 volt uh, BIOS IC basically. So that's that, I will keep that in my collection. Um, and if and when I want to use it, I'll just erase and, and reuse it on another thing, uh, device. But I don't think that the BIOS chip is messed up. It's the firmware that's messed up. So Intel ME region. Yeah, that's right. Um, and uh, it's, I'm not going to sort of go into this. It's booted onto operating system. So yeah, that's how you resolve it. 
sorry that I could not show you live what was going on because this was a bit of a troll, basically. Um, it, 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 it's just one of those things, you know, laptop, lap, working on laptop versus MacBook is a little bit tricky because um, you've got very there's there's hundreds and thousands of different variations of boards and 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 you know emmy region is, is this is just a, uh, another problem adding on to the uh, existing uh, repair basically uh, so yeah that's all really look after yourself and take care bye for now